You're in a conversation with someone about whether homosexuality is sin. And someone says, Jesus never talked about homosexuality. If he didn't care enough to say anything about it, why should you? What would you say? Some argue today that Christianity is not in conflict with homosexual relationships because none of the Gospels record Jesus talking specifically about homosexuality. They take this to mean that Jesus was not actually opposed to homosexual relationships. Is that true? No, and here are four reasons why. First, Jesus affirmed that marriage is between a man and a woman. Jesus was very clear about what marriage is. When he was asked about marriage in Matthew 19 and Mark 10, he pointed back to God's design for marriage as described in Genesis 1 and 2. Jesus reminded his audience that God made them male and female, and that the two shall become one flesh. If he wished to include same-sex marriage, he would not have referred to Genesis, which clearly says marriage is between a man and a woman. Second, Jesus' words are never in conflict with the rest of the Bible. The idea that only Jesus' words in the Gospels reflect what Jesus believes misunderstands who Jesus is. Christianity is clear that Jesus is God. He said this himself. He even said that he came to fulfill and not abolish the rest of the Word of God. Even if Jesus never spoke about homosexuality during his earthly ministry, the rest of the Bible is clear about it. Third, silence does not equal consent. Even if Jesus had never said anything about homosexuality or marriage, that is not evidence that he approved of same-sex relationships. If silence means approval, then we would also be asked to believe that Jesus condones bestiality and incest as well. No one believes that. Fourth, Jesus' relative silence shows his agreement with the consensus of the day. In first century Israel, it was universally recognized that homosexuality was sin. Every extra-biblical source confirms this. Throughout his earthly ministry, Jesus went out of his way to confront and correct misunderstandings about the law, like he did with rules about the Sabbath. When religious rules were in conflict with God's design, he was not hesitant to say so. But Jesus did not challenge their understanding about sexuality and marriage. So his silence is more reasonably understood, not as an endorsement of homosexuality, but his agreement with the consensus of the day. Let's review. If someone tells you that Jesus never talked about homosexuality and therefore approves of it, here are four things to remember. Jesus affirmed that marriage is a relationship between a man and a woman. Jesus confirmed what is written in the rest of Scripture. Jesus' words are never in conflict with the rest of the Bible. We can't separate what Jesus said in the Gospels from the rest of Scripture. He doesn't allow it. Silence does not equal consent. No one believes Jesus condones bestiality because he didn't address it in the Gospels. Jesus' silence shows his agreement with the consensus of the day. He could have corrected the consensus on the issue, but he did not. For What Would You Say? I'm Joseph Backhold.